Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring IP version 6 uh, address auto configuration. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try this out with four routers. We're going to have router 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use um, IP version 6 um, to uh, automatically assign IP address, IP version 6 addresses to other uh, routers. And we're going to do this on an Ethernet network. So I'm going to be using the switch for all my routers here. This is a pretty cool tool. Um, very powerful. You can use it. You know, uh, it's kind of like DHCP, uh, but for you know IP version six. Uh, you know, say you get something on a lab that says we need you to configure. You know, using IP version six, we need you to configure. You know, uh, auto uh, IP version six address configuration. Um, but you cannot use DHCP. So in this case, you'd want to use uh, the method that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the routers here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just seems like my phone just went off. Uh, well, in the meantime, what I did is I went ahead and I just started all my routers. Um, and this... Um, this lab is going to build on the first IPv6 lab that I have out there. Uh, so you might want to watch that first if you're not familiar with IP version 6 addressing. Uh, it kind of goes, uh, picks up, you know, where that one left off. So kind of have to, to know, you know, about the basics of IP version 6. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to assign, you know, our... Uh, our network address here. I'm just going to use something simple. So what we'll do here is we'll assign this IP address 2222 colon 2 colon 2 colon 2 double colon slash 64 is going so that's going to be our network slash 64 then our um, what we're going to do here is we're going to see router 1 um, we're going to give it you know, an IP address on the Ethernet network then we're going to see here if we can you know pick up uh, IP version 6 addresses uh, automatically on these other router interfaces so let's go to router 1 and configure it first <coughs> So this lab shouldn't take too long. I guess that's what I always say, but it always ends up taking longer. Alright, so here we are on router 1. What we want to do is first bring up our port. Uh, maybe uh, give it a host name, R1. Alright, so. What we want to do here is we want to go under our Ethernet interface, which is interface fast Ethernet 00. Okay, we'll give it. Uh, we'll enable IPv version 6 on the interface. And what we'll do is IP version 6 ad ad address. Okay, then it's going to be. That's our network. And then. Let's see, we're going to do the dot one. Right? So that should be. So if I do a show IPv6. Uh, interface three. See here now that it also gave me a. Uh, this is 
call it the link local address. Remember? Okay, this is a global address, and this is a link local address that it assigns using, you know, the MAC address. Anyway, if you want to learn all about that, check out my first video on IPv6. Get you spun up on that. I'm not going to go over all that now. That'll take a while to go over. But anyway, as you can see here, I have my global address I just assigned. And my link local. Um, what I want to do, as you can see here, get the interface is down. I want to bring it up. I'm going to go interface fast unit 00. I'm going to do an O shut. Okay. And I go over to my other routers. Just get them basic, you know, the basic configuration down here. What I'm going to do is I'll do um, what I'll do is I'll do a debug on IPv6 packet. I'll do that on one of the hosts, and then basically on the uh, the server. I guess we'll just call router one the server in this case, because it's going to be you know uh, giving out the IP version six addresses. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go in here and get the basic, get into my routers, and then this this lab is pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't take much to do, so it shouldn't be too long. I'm just basically going to show you auto IP version 6 address configuration. Okay, so the host...